Hey y'all, it's your girl Kayla Denise, and I have a guest with me today. You've all seen her before, so like, don't act like you don't know her. But she gonna say her name anyway. What's up, y'all? It's Kayla Katrina. Hey y'all. All right, gang gang. So today we're gonna be doing the part two of our college advice tag. Um, we were gonna do a brother college advice video, but we felt like the tag would be better because we actually will know the questions to these answers, three answers to these questions. So yeah, and this is only gonna be ten. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started in the video. All right, so question number 11. Have you gotten drunk yet? Oh, wait a minute. back it up, back it up, back it up. Disclaimer. If I say anything and you know I got to do with you, I don't want to hear your mouth under this video, okay? Because you got to be for me, but I ain't got to be for you, okay? All right, now let's roll back into the video. Um, have you gotten drunk yet? Mm. Yes, I have gotten drunk twice in my life. Have you gotten drunk? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um I've gotten drunk. Sorry. Don't utter, I don't encourage underage drinking. It's not a good thing. Do not do it. Um Yeah. Underage drinking is not okay. Do you not I'm not telling that? we're not promoting it at all. What's not? Right? No. Yeah. So don't 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 do it always be safe if you are doing it and please do not drink and drive or anything that will cause yourself or others danger and be careful when you drink in college because things can happen yeah that's not good okay um number 12 have you gotten close to anyone male or female yeah not as close as i wish i didn't get close to some people but you have to learn by doing those things so, yeah, we're not going to go into detail with that because it doesn't matter. Have I gotten close with anyone? Y'all, <laughs> woo, so, woo I, child. yeah, woo child, for real, like, college will, experience. the college experience will break you in all the way. Um, personally, I have gotten close to a few people, um, but outside of Kayla and another friend, associate. No, not really. Like this semester it was no time for social life. So yeah, my bad. Sorry, not sorry. If I knew you before, <laughs> you'll know me right now. Alright now. Can I get a Amen? Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, number thirteen. If you have a dorm and a roommate, do you get along with them? My first semester I got along well with my roommate, not gonna lie. So I'm not gonna speak any dirt on her because nothing happened when we was there. And my second semester I was a commuter, so <laughs> my roommate situations were quite interesting but I will say that I somewhat got along with all of them um, none of them did not any harm to a certain extent like I've seen the roommate horror story so it's nothing like that but um, more so just immaturity yeah all around but yeah I get along with my new roommates just fine <laughs> they're gonna be just fine so all right yeah number 14 are you interested in Greek life I mean they act like you have to be really like what you call it low-key about that so I mean yeah I've been interested but I don't I have no idea I can't tell you how to get in or anything I have no idea yeah. I don't even know what I want to do so it's, I might not even look into that honestly yeah definitely um I am interested in Greek life um, I because I have family members that grew up part of sororities and different things so I kind of know a little bit more information um, it's also all about the research that you do but will I be getting into Greek life in undergrad I don't know um, that's not something I'm focused on right now so yeah but I heard that it brings better opportunities for us networking and different things if that's something that you want to do I heard it's a life changing all right, number 15. What was the biggest high school to college transition for you? Um, I guess with me, the biggest high school to transition. Okay, I guess it's just asking like, what was the biggest challenge for you? Um, the biggest challenge for me was probably like finding myself and being myself. When I went to my first school, I was not myself whatsoever. So if you met me during that time, before you met, like the before I started school, that was mostly me. 
But when I went to school, I swear to you, that was not me whatsoever. I'm not even gonna lie. I started acting like people that I hung out with and being around and like, in general, like I just wanted to fit in and didn't even realize it. Like, cause you know, you go to college, you can be who you want to be. You and I, I don't want to be that person that I was anymore. And I'm not anymore. I yeah. learned a lot. So, I mean, if you end up not being who you are, you know, just try to get back to who you are and try to find your niche. You know, don't sorry yourself with bad people. Don't sorry yourself with the wrong people. And yeah, that's all I can really tell you. Yeah. That was my biggest transition. I think the biggest high school to college transition for me, even though I was a part of a summer program, um, was basically the whole um, having a lot more homework to do because I took online classes for my whole high school experience. So the social aspect of that, getting involved, so it really pushed me. And then also being on top of my schedule and still having to balance other things. So you can't let everything get to you in college. And I'm sure a lot of y'all, if y'all don't know that, you will learn that. But for all my college students, y'all know that you can't let everything get to you because it, it, the day keeps going by the time you want to cry, you can't. It's time to go to bed. Like, And I'm not saying don't take care of your mental and emotional health, but Sometimes you have to put certain things on the back burner to just make it through the day. So that's the biggest one for me. Um, All right, number 16. Are you overwhelmed? Are you overwhelmed with your first semester? Or second semester, I should say? My second semester, I wasn't overwhelmed as much. I mean, I was new because I switched to a PWI, so like that was a culture shock in a way. But then again, People claim, you know, you know, people that be like, you're so white, da, 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 and then you go out, which is so stupid. Which like, is the dumbest thing I have ever heard. Honestly, like, how can I be white? How can you act the, act the race? But honestly, I'm not even gonna lie. I fit more in, uh, obviously, cause, I mean, I'm black, so I fit more in the HBC than PWI, and people are shook about that. They're surprised about it. But I'm um, overwhelmed. I was a little bit just because some classes I had I didn't really like a lot and then math you have to pass that and you need Definitely. that. Definitely. Oh my gosh. So yeah, that was overwhelming. <sighs> yeah. But other than that, I mean, I didn't really stress. I became a better person so I learned to not be overwhelmed. Yeah. Um, My first two semesters, my freshman year were completely overwhelming. I'm not even gonna lie. First semester was hell. Excuse my language. It was tough just because of the fact that I had so much social stuff going on and that kind of took over because it was stressful and then my academics, which I didn't fail a class, I did good, I made it to the end, I made it to finals, but for math you have to pass it and I didn't pass it because I just wasn't super focused on it, I like gave up halfway through. So I had to take the class over, but I passed it. So from that it taught me to Never stop studying or getting stuff done and don't give up and just work extra hard. So I'm not overwhelmed and I won't be overwhelmed this semester. Like I'm gonna push through and just try to like make it work. Yeah. Um, 17, have you developed any bad habits? Uh, if any, um, okay, so eating out, yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. Like a meal plan to me is a joke. <laughs> I don't really, I'm so picky. Yeah. I'm so picky. Um, when I was in my first semester, I had a bad habit of being friends with just any like just anybody. Like, I didn't really think, oh, like, yes, they do this, but, you know, like, I, I'm so nice, you know. I look past people's flaws. I look at the good of people, but I forget about their bad side sometimes. And I guess my bad habit was just choosing the wrong friends, you know, being too nice to people. Um bad habit was just accepting anything really as far as guys friends mm -hmm. advice that I promise you was to peer pressure or something like that but I mean you don't realize stuff sometimes because you see you know something to shoot code it so you don't really realize like the bitterness on the inside you notice how bright and amazing they are on the outside so you can move on but she's preaching I mean <laughs> Like, no hate to y'all if y'all watch this video, but I'm not who y'all thought I was. Like, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be like that, you know? And I was just new to this school, so I thought y'all were my friends, but, but nope. we got along, but we were not meant yeah. to be friends, so it's okay. My bad habit first semester was eating out, too, because I barely touched my meal plan and I ate Domino's and stuff. Um, another thing was, was, I would say unhealthy coping habits as far as going out and like hanging out and different things. 
far as that, which is too much sleep. Like first semester, I slept a lot, and that just comes from being stressed out and not wanting to deal with certain things. So that can be a bad habit too. But outside of that, I'm trying to just eat a Domino's. Like that's all I really wanted was Domino's and chicken wings. So yeah, that's y'all. You think if you don't even like Domino's, you say that now, but you will be calling them like COVID nineteen. For real, <laughs> like, poppers. They come to your dorm too. Mm -hmm. And you get power wars, so you get a free PTA plug. So you're not, and then finally not to get two mediums. Help me all out. But anyway, number 18, this is perfect. Have you already obtained the freshman 15? Um, I was 134, now I'm 137, so I obtained the freshman 33. I don't get weight though, I have fast that with Or is it high? I don't even know, but. Oh, oh, child. That's another thing, see? Can't keep up when you get old. Look, we're going into our sophomore year. We are old. Okay. <laughs> Y'all are contagious. <laughs> oh, okay. So, have you already obtained the freshman 15? I, I don't think I obtained the freshman 15. Um, how it works for me and my body is that if I gain weight, I lose it and I drop back down to like 130, 135. So if I'm up and I look a little thicker, it's like 150. That's it, that's all. But it'll drop back down. Like it just fluctuates. I don't know why, but once I got to high school, it was just like up, or down, up, down, up, down. Booty going up, down. It'll be consistent until like, but I think that's because our campus is so huge. Like I walk everywhere. Like, I, even if I don't go work out, I walk everywhere. So I really don't even have to do much as far as cardio-wise in the gym. I just got a tone. So, yeah. And then, number 19, what do you not like about college? First off, I don't like, like, I don't know if I should say I don't like high school or college. But I feel like once you go to college, it is not what they tell you in high school. Like, it's not their fault. It's the high school teacher's fault, really. But it's just like college. Blame the whole K-12 system. Like honestly, like in college, they give you. I'm not even gonna lie. They give you like a lot of freedom. They let you choose what you wanna do, knowing good and well as a freshman, you're not gonna do the best you can the first year. Like you have to go all out because you're free from your parents and you can do what you want now and all that. So of course, some people, you know, they mess up. I.e. me. Um, but you know, besides that, I mean. I guess I also don't like how some teachers, well, I mean, that's, see, I'm going back to my high school ways. I don't like it how teachers don't want to turn their work late and stuff, but you should always be on time. So be on time, y'all. Be on yeah. time. Forget what she got to Straight. Say. I don't like being told. Oh, no. yeah, because you have assignments due at 11.59, so yeah. if you don't ask for an extension, zero. Exactly. They don't care what. Dropbox is closed. Oh, you know what? I don't like it when you sick and you can't. But like, they don't care. Some of them oh, don't care. Oh, attendance policies. Yeah. That's messed up. Our college has a first day drop policy, so if we don't show up to class on the first day, no matter what the situation is, you're dropped. Yeah. And the teacher professors have a right to drop you. Yeah. Also, um, some me. teachers and professors, it's not all of them, but some of them will pass you out of EZA, and personally, I'm not paying to get an EZA, yeah. so don't, don't do that. That's yeah. not what I like. I want you to grade me and give me what I'm supposed to get. Don't give me no EZA, yada, yada, yada. Um, what's another thing I don't like about college? The the cons to having a social life in college. Mm -hmm. Like, the easy access to what people want to know as far as information about you, as far as amongst the peers. Like, my our university is so small, but also so big, but it feels like a big high school when it comes to stuff going <laughs> So like you just gotta be aware that it gets worse. Y'all think y'all think high school? Y'all ain't stressing, okay? And this comes to people. Everything I'm stressful. About. I ain't feel this stress since middle school, to be honest. As far as drama, like high school, I ain't. Have to I don't even that. like drama or being drama, but somehow I'm, it's still drama. around me. Somehow yeah. I don't know why, how. Yeah, but. It's even in the res like the residence halls. Oh, it's like, and then you got it in class. Some people exactly. arguing with their teachers. It's just not okay. And then some people, even though you feel like because you're pursuing a higher education degree, that people will learn to be mature. Mm -hmm. But don't be mistaken. People are still childish. Like they're still yeah. Some of them get worse. Some of them 
get better, but yeah. That goes into our next question, Honestly, the last one. Any advice for high school seniors? Okay, you come here, even if you don't got home training, go on YouTube, look up my guy. IGV. We'll, we'll make a video. We'll make a video on how to act in class, how to act. We're gonna, you know, we're gonna get a whole class. Hygiene video. We're gonna do hygiene. We're gonna mm -hmm. do how to keep the room clean. Mm -hmm. We're gonna do how to take out the trash. Video on how to take out the trash. How to try to get along laundry. with your roommates. Laundry. That too. How to make a friend and, you know, not be fake. That's not hard. Yeah. Um, if you're a girl or a guy, I don't know what you went to, who you went to, but how to deal with that, because I'm telling you, people here, they don't usually want relationships, so like, I don't want y'all falling into that. We're gonna do a whole video. Yeah, we got, we got a college yeah. advice for y'all. But my advice for high school seniors is go to the university that you want to go to, but be smart about it as yeah. far as tuition and different things. I don't know everybody's situation, but be smart about that, but also go where you think you'll have the best college experience. College experience. Don't go to a school because you hear that they can party and their homecoming is good or da 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 da. Because do. if you do that, you can end up in a situation where you're like stuck there. I mean, and I that's not what you want. Two, just because you woke up early in high school and y'all think that we play in college when we tell y'all this just because you woke up at 6 15 to catch the bus or get ready for high school it's not the same as taking an 8 a.m in college it's not at all let me be the first one to tell you because i did it first semester mm. you have to wake up at six o'clock 6.45, 7 o'clock, depending on how long it takes you to get ready, depending on where the class is on campus, okay? And if you're going to eat. And if you're going to eat, you got to think about you this. Like, <laughs> a shower, a 30-minute shower. If you need a 30-minute shower to wake you up, then what you going to do? You wake up at 7 o'clock at 7.30. You got 30 minutes to get dressed, do your hair, eat a bowl of oatmeal, like, and then the lines is long. Like, come on now. You need a cup of coffee. Just don't do it. Then you're going to be pissed if your makeup look a mess. Like, just don't. Oh, three. You don't necessarily have to get cute every day or get. It's not a fashion show. No. HBCU is a fashion show sometimes, but yeah. this, no one cares. No Nobody one's looking cares at you. Here. Nobody cares. No one cares about you. you Especially on the first day. Nobody. Exactly. I saw more people in sweats and hoodies than a little bit. Like. And we're here, but we live. People don't care in general, so it's like at all. Do you boo? I mean, it's gonna be high school all over again, literally. And if you gotta go to a party. And you got class the next day? Show up to class, please, yeah. please go to class. I went to class after I went to parties, so yeah, we went to parties. I'm y'all big sis. Don't do that. Yeah, don't, don't. Yeah, don't. Do no. Yeah. I ain't even. I was sober and I still fired. You know. Don't do that to yourself. Don't. Don't do it. Promise y'all, we are not perfect. Don't do it. We have stories, but don't do it. you gonna have a story too, so. Got me and my feelings. Okay, we got four minutes left on the sim card. All right, y'all, <laughs> we're done. <laughs> so thank you for watching. Don't forget to click that subscribe button. And don't forget to click the bell and comment. If you got this far, comment some advice. And go check out part one on my channel. Yeah, do that, do that. And yeah, um, yeah, comment some advice. Tell us what grade you're in. Tell us your favorite thing about school, whether you're in high school, college. If you have any more questions, we'll, we'll answer them. Um, we might do like a live or something, maybe to answer those questions. I don't know yet. Or maybe yeah, video. We can. But, um, yeah. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to check out part one. I'll put that in the description bar. Don't forget to check out her channel too as well. I'll put that in the description. And, yeah. Um, that's about it. Yeah, that's about I it. I believe so. Go oh, check oh. the description box so y'all can watch part one. Yes. Which is on my channel. And join the gang, gang, gang. Thank you all for watching. I enjoyed y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed me too on this lovely channel of yes. my girl Kayla. <laughs> we are closing out. We are yes. done for the day. Bye y'all. Hey, can you focus on me?